So this might look familiar um, from the video we were just watching. Uh, this is the public art installation at that subway station in New York City by Zenobia Bailey. Um, it's a really cool, cool piece. A lot going on. Very colorful, very eye-catching. Um, it's amazing that it took six years to produce, but when you see some of these up close images and you can see that that it's all these really really tiny tile pieces um you can understand why it probably took a really really long time but it's a it's an amazing piece of public art and public art is just a category of art that is often found in libraries uh train stations airports the mall Kind of the art, the sculptures that you might see just when you're out and about at everyday places. And that piece was designed by Zenobia Bailey uh, and based on her crochet work because she's really known as a fiber artist for her crochet weavings. And this wall piece, these circles that are all spiraling and connected together, this is all yarn. This is all um, yarn that she has crocheted together into um, these circles that she calls mandalas. And she um, sees them as a symbol of joy and of our connection to one another as people. Um, this is what she's best known for are those circular pieces and you can see that she uses a lot of different color combinations. They're very bold, they're very vibrant, um, they all have lots of rings and then sometimes within the rings they have different shapes as well. Um, she is actually probably uh, a lesser known artist, um, but she is an important fiber artist, and that's probably not a category of artist that we talk about as often as we should. She also happens to be from Seattle, Washington. She was born uh, and raised in Seattle. And here in this piece, she has a lot of different shapes going on within the circles from just lines and triangles, rectangles, dots, all sorts of things. So really fun, interesting work, lots of complex patterns. And I imagine that these pieces all take her quite a long time to complete. And then here she is sitting with some of her work as well as some yarn and some crochet needles. So those circular wall mandala pieces, that's going to serve as our inspiration for our project today. Okay, so now we're going to dive into our project. And what you need is a large sheet of the drawing paper. And you should have a bag with a whole bunch of different tempera paint stick colors for you to work with. And before we dive into using our paint sticks, I just want to do a quick review of the colors and some color scheme ideas for you. So I know you all have heard me mention the primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. And of course, our secondary colors, the orange, purple, and green. Our primary colors create the secondary colors. If you were to mix them with paint, that is red and yellow would equal orange, red and blue would be purple, and blue and yellow would be green. And as you can see on this color wheel, it says warm colors and cool colors. So as you're thinking about the circles that we're going to be painting in a moment, and we're going to be doing a large, a medium, and a small, three different sizes to try to combine together for our final project, you may want to choose all cool colors. Um, you know, choosing colors that are near each other on the color wheel has a lot of harmony to it. So these all work really well together uh, because they all have that cool kind of undertone to them. And um, then it's a very harmonious group. And you could do the same thing just choosing 
warm colors from the color wheel. Of course, you could also go all over with your colors. That's probably more what Zenobia Bailey does. As you may have noticed with a lot of her pieces, she uses colors from all sides of the color wheel together, creating a lot of interesting color combinations and a lot of contrast. And so that's the example that I'm going to be working on. I'm going to choose a variety of primary and secondary colors working uh, with colors that are the opposite of each other on the color wheel. So I'm going to start with my big circle and we have a big piece of paper so that we have room for three. So a large, a medium, and a small. So just remember that as you're working, your uh, pieces don't need to be your circles, don't need to be the same size as mine, but you do need to have room for hopefully three final sets of circles. Okay, so I'm going to start over here with my red, and some of you may have used these before. They're the tempera paint sticks. It just allows us to use a lot of different paint colors. They're very much like a glue stick, uh, but paint. And so every time you are done with a color, make sure you put that lid back on, hear that snap, because that means that it's closed and it won't dry out because just like a glue stick and just like paint, it may dry out. And it's nice in this set, we have a couple different blues, a light blue and a dark blue and a light blue and a dark green. So it gives us a little more color variety than your, your standard kind of marker set or rainbow. And I've started with a couple primary colors, and now I'm going to add orange in here. Orange provides a really nice contrast to blue because it's on the opposite side of the color wheel from blue. So then I might use the dark blue around the edge. Add some green, nice spring green. And sometimes I find the, the colors, the tempera sticks can be a little kind of sticky when you start a new color. So it'll warm up just, you know, they don't have to be perfect. I'm just kind of making ring after ring, layering these circles together. I think I'm gonna go back to red. And I think this will be my last ring around this set of circles. That should be big enough. But I have some nice light, some nice dark, some nice variety of color. And I'm going to use some of those same colors, but I think I'm going to try and introduce some other ones. So that was my large. Now I'm going to make a medium up here. I'm going to add this other green. And of course you can choose whatever colors you like. You, know, you can make your circles bigger. Just make sure you have room. <laughs> Four, three, because we're going to eventually uh, cut three out, the three circles out, and put them together in sort of an overlapping fashion, sort of in the way that Zenobia Bailey does that with her crocheted pieces. I've actually never done any knitting or crocheting. I do sew, but I've, I've never worked that much with yarn. But I, I'm thoroughly impressed with the size of the pieces that she creates. That is a lot of yarn. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Okay, let's see. How many rings did I have? One, five. Okay, so that's five. That was six. I think that's a good medium. 
I'm going to now switch to my small. And my small will probably only be three or four rings. And I want to make sure that each color is hopefully on at least two of the rings or close to it. I don't know if I'm going to end up using the yellow twice. Let's see. Okay. So those are my three sets of uh, rings, circles, mandalas, what, whatever you want to call them in the sort of style of Zenobia Bailey. And the nice thing about these temper paint sticks is that they dry very quickly. Now we won't need these again. So go ahead and make sure all the caps are on tight and put them back in the bag when you are done. Just like, just like that. You can stick that off to the side. So now you need um, a black marker like this. And I know we have um, done a lot with lines this, uh, this year. We've talked about a lot of different line shapes in some of the past projects. So I want to show this example before I start on mine. We're going to use our black marker to add some additional lines, some additional interest, uh, some additional shapes to these uh, three circles. That will help us <clears throat> give uh, the same kind of look to our pieces that Zenobia Bailey has with hers. Because you remember some of hers had um, a variety of triangles and other lines on them. And you're free to do whatever kinds of lines and shapes you want. Uh, you don't need to do that on all of the rings. Uh, you'll notice on this example, I didn't, I didn't add any of the black marker to um, like the blue on this one, for example. So you have a lot of options what you can do in terms of dots and circles and lines and triangles um, just to add some visual pattern and give these uh, more of the look that that Zenobia Bailey had on her work. So I think I'm actually going to start with my small piece and I'm actually going to outline, create a black ring around my kind of center circle. And I think I'm actually going to create some lines coming out that go across the rings like this. And you are, you know, free to do whatever you like with this. Let's see. There are no rules. We're just adding some additional patterns, some additional texture here to our circles. Okay, I'm on to the next one. Let's see.
Okay, now I have my three done. I think those look pretty good. Pretty um, funky in the style of Zenobia Bailey. So now I'm just going to take a scissor and I'm going to cut them out. So you should grab a scissor as well and do the same with yours. They don't have to be perfect cuts or perfect circles. You're just going around the edge. take that piece that's left. I'll put that in the recycling bin. And so now you want a nine by 12 piece of black construction paper like this. And you got to figure out how you want to put your, how you want to arrange your three pieces. Which one do you want in the front? Which one do you want in the back? Because you remember all those crochet pieces that she had, they all were sort of overlapping a little bit on the edges. So we're not going to stick them way far apart because that would also stick off the paper quite a bit. We're going to overlap some that the overlap them so that they fit onto our construction paper. And once you kind of figure out the arrangement that you like, just grab a glue stick and start gluing. So I think I'm actually going to have my medium circle, my medium set of rings in the back, the furthest back. It is nice that those tempera paint sticks dry so quickly. And then my large circles are going to be in the middle. Just a little bit of overlap. Of course, if there's like a mark or something that you didn't like, this, this would be a good way to cover it up <laughs> with how you arrange them. But... This is about having fun, not making them perfect. Okay. And then my, my small one is going to be right there. So I have my arrangement and I, I like how all my colors are working together and everything's really popping off of the black background. So I hope that you're Happy with your final Zenobia Bailey inspired artwork and that you had fun on this project today. Thanks a lot.